Tonight, we are digging deeper into why that proposed new soccer stadium is going to cost so much. Plus, why it is so much more than stadiums built in other cities. News Force Nancy Amons asking the tough questions for us live right now with the answers. Well, the stadium, first of all, is going in up the hill behind me. This is the fairgrounds. It's going um, at the top of the hill after they demolish what's here now. We learned on Thursday, though, they have redesigned this soccer stadium, and that costs more. Washington heading it. Turning is Akinyoti! The excitement of Nashville Soccer Club playing at the Sounds Baseball Park for now. The not so exciting news Thursday that the new MLS stadium at the fairgrounds could cost as much as 70 million more than first announced. Nashville Soccer Club CEO telling the Sports Authority it could cost $345 million. I always expected it to be more than what, what the estimate was. Councilmember Bob Mendez happy that council is only obligated to pay the first $225 million. The team picks up the cost overruns. We accomplished a hard cap. So why is Nashville Stadium so expensive? It's big, 30,000 seats, the biggest soccer stadium in the country. The new soccer stadium in Columbus, Ohio, is projected to cost $233 million, but it's only 20,000 seats. Cincinnati spending $250 million to build a 26,000-seat stadium. We are now learning more about why Nashville stadium costs changed. This was the first plan. Remember, it's different now. Now, it's hard to know why it changed. Was the first plan too expensive to build? This internal document from the architect gives us a clue. It says the design was placed on hold for budget and scope evaluation. Well, we do know that starting over with a new design, that added $4 million worth of extra studies and architect fees. We knew this was going to happen. We've never brought a project in on budget ever in Metro. Now, if you remember, the timeline for this project changed, too. Do you remember, at first they said June 30th here was going to be when this site was completely cleared and ready for the stadium construction to begin. Obviously, that hasn't happened yet. That delay alone added more than a million dollars in extra design fees for the design team and for the construction administration.